Thank you for joining in this morning, and we'll be praying the uh, morning prayer for Wednesday of the sixth week of Easter. We'll start off with those salatatas. O saving victim, open wide, the gate of heaven to man below. Our foes press on from every side. Thine aid supply, thy strength bestow. To thy great name be endless praise. Immortal Godhead, one in three. O grant us endless length of days in our true native land with thee. And we'll start off with the Advitatory. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, the highest mountains as well. He made the sea. It belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Manasseh, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all my works. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. And we'll go to the uh, psalmody. The water saw you, O God. You led your people through the sea. Alleluia. I cry aloud to God. I cry aloud to God that he may hear me. In the day of my distress, I sought the Lord. My hands were raised at night without ceasing. My soul refused to be consoled. I remember my God and I groaned. I pondered, and my spirit fainted. You withheld sleep from my eyes. I was troubled. I could not speak. I thought of the days long ago, and remembered the years long past. At night, I mused within my heart. I pondered, and my spirit questioned. Will the Lord reject us forever? Will he show us his favor no more? Has his love vanished forever? Has his promise come to an end? Does God forget his mercy or withhold his compassion? I said, this is what causes my grief. The way of the Most High has changed. I remember the deeds of old. I muse on all your works and ponder your mighty deeds. Your ways, O God, are holy. What God is great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You showed your power among the peoples. Your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The water saw you, O God. The water saw you and trembled. The depths were moved with terror. The clouds poured down rain. The sky sent forth their voice. Their arrows flashed to and fro. Your thunder rolled around the sky. Your flashes lighted up the world. The earth was moved and trembled. When your way led through the sea, your path through the mighty waters, no one saw your footprints. You guided your people like a flock by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you established your ancient covenant by signs and wonders, but more wondrously, you confirm the new one through the sacrifice of your Son. Guide your church through the pathways of life, that we may be led to the land of promise and celebrate your name with lasting praise. The water saw you, O God. You led your people through the sea. Alleluia. The Lord puts to death 
and raise us to life. Alleluia. My heart exalts in the Lord. My horn exalts in my God. I have swallowed up my enemies. I rejoice in my victory. There is no holy one like the Lord. There is no rock like our God. Speak boastfully no longer, no, nor let arrogance issue from your mouths. For an all-knowing God is the Lord, a God who judges deeds. The boughs of the mighty are broken, while the tottering grid on strength. The well-fed hire themselves out for bread, while the hungry bathe on spoil. The barren wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languishes. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down to the netherworld. He raises up again. The Lord makes poor and makes rich. He humbles. He also exalts. He raises the needy from the dust. From the ash heap, he lifts up the poor to seat them with nobles, to make the, a glorious throne their heritage. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. He has set the world upon them. He will guard the footsteps of his faithful ones. But the wicked shall perish in the darkness. For not by strength does man prevail. The Lord's foes shall be scattered. The Most High in heaven thunders. The Lord judges the ends of the earth. Now may he give strength to his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord puts to death and raises to life. Alleluia. A light has dawned for the just. Joy has come to the upright of heart. Alleluia. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let all the coastlines be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiments, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightning lights up the world. The er earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All people see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. Let your spirits worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, you clothe the sky with light, and the depths of the ocean with darkness. Among the sons of men you work wonders, and rain terrors upon the enemy. Look upon your servants. Do not try us by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home. A light has dawned on the just. Joy has come to the upright heart. Alleluia. And from Romans. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no more power over him. His death was death to sin. Once for all, his life is life for God. The same way you must consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The Lord has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon a cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord has risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. I have many more things to tell you, but they would be too much for you now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in all truth. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. 
This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I have many more things to tell you, but they would be too much for you now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you in all truth. Alleluia. By the gift of the Father, the risen Christ was seen by the apostles. Let us pray to the Father and say, Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. Father of lights, today we offer you our thanks and praise for calling us into your marvelous light to receive your mercy. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. <coughs> May the efforts of mankind to make the world more human be purified and strengthened by the power of your Spirit. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. May we be so dedicated to the service of others that the whole human family may become a pleasing sacrifice in your honor. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. At the dawn of a new day, fill us with your mercy, that the whole day may be a day of joy and praise. Give us, Lord, the glory of your Son. In gathering our prayers together, let us now pray in Jesus' words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, as we celebrate your Son's resurrection, so may we rejoice with all the saints when he returns in glory, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We'll now have a period of silence till probably about 10 after 8.
please join in saying the Tantum Mergo together. Down in adoration falling, lo, the sacred hosts we hail. Lo, over ancient forms departing, newer rites of grace prevail. Faith for all defects supplying, where the feeble senses fail. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Holy Spirit proceeding forth from each eternally. Be salvation, honor, blessing, might and endless majesty. Let us pray. Lord our God, you have given us the true bread from heaven. In the strength of this food may we live always by your life and rise in glory on the last day. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please repeat the divine praises after me. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. We say together, Holy God, we praise thy name. Lord of all, we bow before thee. All on earth thy scepter claim. All in heaven above adore thee. Infinite thy vast domain, everlasting is thy reign. Hark the loud celestial hymn, angels' choirs above are raising, cherubim and seraphim in unceasing chorus praising. Fill the heavens with sweet accord, holy, holy, holy Lord. Thank you for joining in this morning.